Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just keeping cool on this summer day and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... Why is it so hot in the summer? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some juice can with a piece of paper and a lamp. So, you want to know why summer is hot? Well, okay, I'll tell you. The sun. That's it. Show's over. <laughs> oh, well, I see. You want me to show you why the sun makes it hot in the summer. Okay, all right. Well, you're in luck because today we're talking about rays. And I'm not talking about a guy's name Ray either. The first thing you're gonna need is two juice can lids. <laughs> it's a cheap party trick. Oh yeah, that's right. And you need to get yourself one of these. A heat light, because we're gonna be generating some heat. I know what you're thinking. Why a heat light? It's summer. There's enough heat. Well, we need to generate some heat for this experiment. Oh, and by the way, do not touch these suckers when they get hot, because you're going to find yourself saying a few words you can't say on TV. <laughs> Alright, now turn on your lamp, and using the piece of paper, put the other juice can lid in a slant like this. Place one juice can lid flat. Now you got to let this sit for like about a, a minute. Whoa, check that out. This one that was flat feels warmer than this one that was not. So. Why does this one that was flat feel hotter than this one that was at a slant? And how did direct rays create more heat than slanted rays? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The reason the flat lid and the slanted lid are slightly different temperatures has to do with light waves. As light beams down on the slanted lid, most of the light is bounced off at a right angle. It doesn't have time to get absorbed. However, when the light hits the flat lid, this forces most of the light to actually get absorbed rather than bounce off. This light getting absorbed causes the flat lid to be warmer than the slanted lid. Same thing happens with the Earth. Since the Earth is tilted, this makes light waves hit the Earth at different angles. When the sun's light hits the Earth straight on, most of the light energy is absorbed by the Earth and conducted into the air, making summers hot. When the light from the sun hits the Earth at an angle, most of the light is bounced off the Earth and we get cold winters. You might think that the only reason we get hot summers has to do with the Earth's sun. However, the oceans play a very important role in keeping summers hot as well. As the oceans absorb heat energy, eventually the Earth will move into a position where the Earth is no longer being hit by direct sunlight. As the oceans release their heat energy back into the Earth's atmosphere, this makes the summer months last about one month longer than they would without the oceans. In fact, Without the oceans, the Earth would be about 30 degrees cooler than it currently is. The oceans also play a role in keeping winters warmer than they would be. So now you know why summers are hot. You know, being able to feel why summers are hot is why science is so cool.